Do you ever feel frustrated when people don't understand what you're saying because of your accent? Have you ever had to repeat yourself multiple times just to be understood by native English speakers? It's time to take action and say goodbye to that strong accent once and for all. Hi there, I'm Peter Baker from VoiceOver Masterclass, and in this video, I'm going to help you reduce your strong accent. Whether you're a non-native English speaker or you've been living in a foreign country for a while, it's not uncommon to develop a strong accent, which can hamper good communication. But fear not, because I've got some great tips and tricks to help you reduce your accent and improve your communication skills. So, are you ready to impress your friends, colleagues, and even strangers with your new accent? Are you ready to boost your confidence and improve your communication skills? Then keep on watching, because this video is going to change the way you speak. Now, before we get started, let me tell you one thing. Reducing your accent takes time and practice. It's not something that will happen overnight. But with consistent effort, you can definitely see a significant improvement in your speech. So let's dive in with the two main tips I can give you today. Let's get started with the first tip. Using emphasis words correctly, along with changing the song of your speech or the rising and falling of your voice, which varies a lot from culture to culture and language to language. The English words you're saying may be correct, but get the emphasis of words wrong or the rise and fall of your speech incorrect and the meaning of what you're saying can be lost or vastly reduced. So you need to work on your intonation and stress patterns. Emphasizing the right syllables in words and the right words in sentences can help so much in improving communication. And by practicing and mimicking native English speakers, you can improve your intonation and stress patterns, be clearer and sound more natural. For example, you can take any part of this video and pause after any of my sentences and repeat what I've said following exactly my emphasis points and the song of my speech. And you'll learn a lot from that. But let's try an exercise together. Repeat after me this sentence. I didn't say she stole my money. All right. So let's keep the same words, but emphasize a different word each time. And you'll see that it actually means something different when you emphasize a different word. So repeat after me. I didn't say she stole my money. Or what about, I didn't say she stole my money. Or, I didn't say she stole my money. Or, I didn't say she stole my money. And so on, all right? So good job. With practice, you can perfect your stress patterns to make sure the meaning is correct and perfect your intonation as well. So secondly, tongue twisters. Yes, you heard it right, tongue twisters. These seemingly silly phrases are a great way to train your tongue and your mouth muscles to produce sounds that are difficult to say. But let's try one together. Um, what about she sells seashells by the seashore. So repeat after me. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, sounding good. Can you do it a bit faster? She sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> right, very good. So there are many, and you can just look them up on the net. Just try them. Let's try another one now. Unique New York. Three words. You think it'd be simple. Let's hear it from you. Okay. What about faster? Unique New York. And again and again. Unique New York. Unique New York. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? You see, tongue twisters aren't that hard, and they're a fun way to improve your pronunciation and clarity in your speech. Lastly, it's important to focus on your articulation. Articulation refers to how clearly and precisely you pronounce each sound in a word. And by practicing and repeating sounds that are difficult for you, you can improve your articulation and reduce your accent. Do daily mouth stretching exercises and all that sort of thing. Warm-ups 
as we teach in our courses at VoiceOver Masterclass. So let's try an exercise together. Repeat after me. This is a bit of a good tongue twister as well. The sixth sick shakes sixth sheep's sick. Now you try it. <laughs> All right. And now you try it a little bit faster. You know, with practice, you'll be able to articulate even the most difficult sounds with ease. So there you have it, just a few tips on how to reduce your strong accent, and you can start doing this today. Remember, reducing your accent takes time and practice, but with the tips and tricks we've covered in this video, you can definitely see a significant improvement in your speech. Don't let your accent hold you back any longer. Start practicing today, and soon enough you'll be impressing everyone with your newfound speech skills. But how would you like to speak English better in only 30 days? and develop a natural English accent fast by improving your English grammar, pronunciation, and UK and USA English speaking skills. You can get started right now by clicking the link somewhere around this video and find out the amazing best-selling course we've got at VoiceOver Masterclass. Check it out! Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one.